Sick and tired of running into cover two? Use this play out of the Cardinals playbook to go ahead and break them out of that cover two shell and open up your offense. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on the channel. I show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also that notification icon so you can never miss a upload. All right, so I had one of my patrons that asked me to go ahead and break down uh, a, a scheme, a passing scheme out of the Cardinals playbook other than um, uh, which I think is a tight formation. So um, I actually looked into the gun uh, flip trips formation. There was a couple plays that actually caught my attention and I wanted to start labbing in particular the deep curls but the play that I actually fell in love with is the deep fork now guys this play is only in the Cardinals playbook so if you're, you're if you're playing regs and you got custom I recommend putting this in and the reason why is that this play is special is that it's got four pass routes that are extremely unique and you can't audible into uh, you've got uh, a C route on the left hand side you got a uh, like a, a C route um, with the running back you've also got a deep corner and a deep post uh, these are things that you can't audible into and you got automotive too. So we're going to run this against cover two coverages and show you how this play will beat a lot of run, uh, cover twos. And I'll show you a second part uh, where I'll show you how you can break down cover three coverages too, which are one of the more popular coverage shells in the game. All right, so what's cool about this particular play is that it, it allows you to go ahead and attack your opponent in the corners and over the uh, over the middle, uh, and it also gives you an opportunity to get a, a deep uh, a deep opportunity off to off to the side. So, one of the first things you can do is you can go ahead and leverage that deep out route, uh, the the auto motion as is. The problem with it is that eventually a, a cornerback will bite down on it. But what's cool is that if a corner bites down on it. You've got this uh, deep corner route that will be wide open for you. So here you go. You're just looking at uh, the the outside, and now the deep corner route is wide open because that that uh, out route actually takes that out out of the game. Now, what's what's the disadvantage is that if you keep running this play as is, what's going to happen is eventually your opponent is going to pick up on your tendencies, and they'll start making adjustments like that, where they'll actually have it, have the defender actually fall back. So you want to be able to go and keep running this play against someone who runs a lot of cover too, but attack them in different areas of the field. So uh, uh, another adjustment that you can do is go ahead and do a hot route uh, because this will allow you to go and attack your opponent underneath. So let's go ahead and see. Defender doesn't float down. I'm going to go ahead and just chuck it down and pick up the, the yards uh, for easy five yards. So if he plays cover two, floats up, this is going to give you an opportunity to go ahead and attack that. And if, if the defender actually comes down and plays it, uh, you can actually go and attack that corner on the backhand side and still give your opponent basically a similar look. He doesn't see the auto motion. So let's just go and see if he comes down. See how the corner comes down? Now that, uh, actually no, the corner floated up. So I'm just going to go ahead and do high-low. Uh, it's like kind of a smash concept. But So we're going to go ahead and put that guy in a smoke route. The defender actually comes down. Now you're going to have that deep corner opportunity where you can actually go in and beat your opponent. So it gives you a very easy high-low read with this particular concept. Now another thing you can level into it is actually a drag on the backhand side. So once again, uh, we've got high-low. The guy comes down. I've got a crosser right here that I can check it down to and pick up some pretty, pretty easy yards. So that makes it very difficult from the stop. Now uh, the running back route is, is kind of a... Um, a route that you can go and utilize and leverage against your opponent, especially if he falls back for coverages. Uh, it is another way to go and attack your opponent. The problem with the running back route is that these deeper routes take a long time to develop. So if you've got the running back actually going out uh, in a formation, you can get yourself sacked. You can see those guys are actually coming off the back inside. So I like against cover two, I'm going to go ahead and block my, my running back uh, and go ahead and use that, uh, use that leverage. Another thing too, what I can do is I can take that Kirk and actually put him in a drag route so that gives me another area of the field to go and attack my opponent over the middle of the field. So uh, that's another way you can run this where he's actually guessing where you're going to be attacking him out. Now the final adjustment is another big play opportunity. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, uh, block my running back, drag up my backside receiver, which is going to be Kirk. Now I'm going to go ahead and streak up Fitzgerald. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to be able to pop him over the middle for some big yards. So he's going to have he's going to have a, have an opportunity a high low. So watch this, where the defender does not play the middle of the field, 
and it's going to give you an opportunity for a big play with the streaking uh, Fitzgerald. So let's go ahead and see if we can hit this again. Got the auto motion, giving our opponent the look that he's actually going to hit the corner. And here you go. Big play opportunity where you can hit your opponent right down in the middle of the field. So now we're attacking or attacking our opponent off the right hand side. I've got a running back route, I got a drag route, I've got the out route that I can attack my opponent with, and he's gonna have a hell of a time stopping this out of cover two, and it's gonna be able to open up a lot of big play opportunities for you. So uh, guys, I recommend going in a lab. If you're using the Cardinals playbook, jump into this play. Uh, this play is really effective against cover four, uh, cover three and cover, uh, cover two. I'll be showing you a cover three break down but you can pretty much stay in this play um, pretty much the entire time if you've got a guy that runs a lot of cover two cover three and he's not making a lot of manual adjustments and even then you can set him up for some big plays down the field so to my subscribers thank you for your support for my patrons thank you for your support and smash that like button if you do like these tips thanks again until next time